Hey everyone, this is Dr. Eric Codner again, uh, coming to you from Southwest Georgia Center of Medicine in Americas, Georgia. Uh, and also, of course, we're in Columbus as well. And uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, coronavirus again today, uh, COVID-19, and the impact of vitamin C. Uh, we are actually very soon about to offer high dose vitamin C treatment for anyone uh, that's, that's battling you know, the flu or COVID-19 or other problems uh, and they want a solution uh, that's natural and it appears that it works. And no, no doctor or organization has done enough studies on vitamin C to say, you know, with 100% certainty that it's an effective approved treatment, but it is being encouraged. Doctors are currently doing vitamin C, high dose vitamin C therapy for people with COVID-19 uh, and it has been used traditionally to treat other flu viruses and what it actually does is <clears throat> stop the cytokine storm that's associated with sepsis and, and sepsis is simply a blood infection or an infection inside the body that spreads from organ to organ shutting your body down and that's what eventually kills you. Uh, I know there's people suffering out there there's people probably with you know most people are going to have a milder case of COVID-19 but still uh, in my in my mind, I would think you know, given that high dose vitamin C, and and not just that, folks, we're gonna we're gonna give you a whole cocktail of, of nutrients from vitamin D and other other uh, nutraceuticals and, and herbs that can help support your immune system, so you can get past it quickly. And there are more studies looking at into hey, is this a preventative measure? So uh, hopefully, as evidence emerges, we'll see that you can also prevent. Uh, even catching this in the first place. And hey, I always encourage people to take oral liposomal vitamin C, uh, and, and we tell people to do dose it to gastric tolerance, meaning take enough to where it kind of upsets your stomach a little bit, and then you know keep it that dose. Don't, don't keep taking more because it's not absorbing at that point if you're taking it orally. Uh, we already talked about levels of vitamin D and DHEA and all these other things on the previous episode, but we want to let you know as soon as we can get IV supplies in, we'll, we will be offering this uh, to you all out there and it hopes to keep you healthy and get you well if you are sick. Until then, next time, be healthy.